So for the last day of Vida, I thought I would do something quite easy and quite simple, both in terms of video making and also in terms of, like, enjoyment. This is a thing that a friend of mine showed me how to do, and then I've just been doing when I'm bored or stressed, because colouring's a really nice way of kind of not feeling as stressed or as freaked as you might be, and these give you a really easy way of kind of making colouring that you enjoy without having to buy like a colouring book. Um, and what you end up with is something similar to that. So you can do these in loads of different colours. I mainly do them in black and then one other colour, but other people do different things. Uh, and you're more than welcome to experiment and figure out what you like when you make them. So the first thing that you have to do is whichever colour you're going to start with, and you can start in pencil if you want, I'm going to start with a black fine liner pen, uh, is that you want to make random marks on the card, and when I say random I do really mean random, like just put little lines on the card wherever you want. Uh, the next step is to, in a similar fashion, um, to connect those lines to the edge of the card. So here, I'm just going to turn that across because then it'll connect to the card. And you want to do that with all of them. And you also really want to connect the lines. Um, don't feel like you have to do them all in single lines. Like They should look just like scribbles, as the rest of the lines do. doing them like scribbles is that if you don't quite meet up with the lines you can just go back and add a little backtrack of a line and if you cross over don't worry about it we can tidy all of that up a bit later okay so now that you've done that you should have some zones in your card so you then want to pick a couple of these zones to be coloured in and a couple to be left blank. So with this card I'm going to colour in this one and this one and leave these two blank. Um, <clears throat> so with this first one I'm going to keep it really simple and I'm just going to colour the whole thing in. It's important when you're doing the colouring in stage to get right to the corners and make sure that you've filled the whole thing in. It's also important to know that when you do the original drawing outline, it's a good idea to go with really bold kind of cuts in the lines because if you make them too subtle, you lose them and you fill them in again. Once you've done that, you can now start by decorating the outside. If you're going with just a simple black, then you can do variations of following the outline. So the most simple version is to just leave a gap of maybe three or four millimetres and then follow the exact same pattern round the edge of the filled in sections. Obviously there will be sections of the zone where the original lines are so close together that you can't really fit a bonus line. For those places you're better off just skipping them out entirely and drawing around them. Don't worry if you do slightly wonky lines at this stage or at any stage really. It's your drawing, you get to be however wobbly or not as you wish. 
Once you've done that, you then add a bit of depth to each of the lines so that they're a bit thicker. And there you go, there is your finished version. Or you could try using a mixture of different colours. It's important to remember that you can do whatever you want with these. You can try different colours, you can do plainer versions, you can only use excess lines, you can not use any excess lines, you can use only colours in the same scheme, use felt tips, use pencil crayons, do shading, be as weird and as cool and as interesting as you want to be. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. No! Shit, it's the last day of Vida. I won't see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye!